All right, hello everybody, and welcome to my Royal Rumble 2016 predictions. Uh, we have a few matches, and then we have the f one versus all Royal Rumble for the WWE Championship. But uh, let's let's go over all the matches. First off, in the kickoff show, there's a fatal four-way tag team match for quali qualification into the Rumble. We have Darren Young and Damian Sandow. Not sure why that's a team. We have the Dudleys, we have the Ascension, and then we ha <clears throat> and then we have Mark Henry and Jack Swagger. Also, not sure why that's a team. Uh, I would say Mark Henry and Jack Swagger are going to win this match because Mark Henry has been stated uh, has stated uh, f like this week that this is probably going to be his last Rumble, so I assume they're going to have him at least be in it if he's retiring soon. So Jack Swagger and Mark Henry are going to get the win. Uh, the next match, the New Day versus the Usos for the Tag Team Championships. Uh, I think New Day is going to win it. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I could easily see them giving it to the Usos, but I I like the, I like both teams. I don't care who wins, but I can see them keeping the Tag Team titles on New Day, at least until WrestleMania. At least until WrestleMania. Uh, so, New Day is going to win that match. Charlotte versus Becky Lynch for the Divas Championship. I got I got Becky the whole way. I I was happy when Charlotte won it, but I like Becky more. And Becky Becky's gonna win. That's who I got. Becky Lynch. Uh, but and but I assume Ric Flair is gonna get involved somehow and cost Becky the match. But yeah, I got Becky winning the Divas Championship. Uh, Alberto Del Rio versus Kalisto in a rematch for the United States Championship. I got Kalisto. Uh, nobody really wants Alberto Del Rio as the champion. And it's... Uh, I don't understand why they had Kalisto win it and then literally the next day had him lose it. Even though it uh, it's technically three days later. But he, he literally had the belt for one day. Because of the whole SmackDown taping thing. So I got Kalisto winning in uh, getting the title back from Alberto Del Rio and becoming a two-time United States Championship uh, champion. So, yes, Kalisto. Uh, Dean Ambrose versus Kevin Owens in a last-man-standing match. Now, they can go either way with this. I could understand them giving Kevin Owens the championship and just extending the feud further, but with uh, Chris Jericho coming back, I could see them working on Chris Jericho Dean Ambrose feud from how Night of Champions ended, with uh, Chris Jericho shoulder checking Dean Ambrose and walking off. I could see them going uh, Dean Ambrose versus Chris Jericho for the Intercontinental Championship at WrestleMania, where Chris Jericho gets his tenth Intercontinental Championship. I could see them going with that, and it'd be a pretty good feud. Uh, this match, Dean Ambrose and Kevin Owens, is a last man standing match, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a good match. These two are fighters; they they know what the hell they're doing, and they like to fight, and it's gonna be a good match. Uh, but I I got I got Dean I got Dean winning this one. Uh, I I like him as the Intercontinental Champion. Uh, but yeah, Dean Ambrose winning. Now the Royal Rumble now. My original pick to win it, I, I don't know who my original pick would have been, but now my pick to win the Royal Rumble is Triple H, because we haven't, technically we haven't seen him on TV since the beatdown, even though he's been at NXT and he's been doing stuff with, with NXT, he hasn't been on Monday Night Raw or SmackDown since, so that's, they're going with that whole thing. Um... And since it's for the title, I could see Triple H coming in at number 30, winning the Royal Rumble, and then Roman Reigns versus Triple H for the title at WrestleMania. Uh, Reigns becomes a three-time WWE champion and gets a WrestleMania moment. I can see that happening. Uh, my final four, I would say, would probably be Roman Reigns, Triple H, Brock Lesnar, and... Hmm. Roman Reigns, Triple H, Brock Lesnar, and Bray Wyatt. I think that I think that'd be pretty good because you got Bray. He Bray Wyatt. The Wyatt's family have been taking out uh, Roman and Brock Lesnar in the last few weeks. 
Uh, I mean, pretty much this last week. Uh, Triple H would win it, and Roman Reigns would be the underdog story, coming in from number one, making it to the final four. Uh, surprise returns, I would say there's... I know this probably isn't going to happen, but there's been a lot of rumors about Daniel Bryan going to a bunch of different doctors with WWE. So, I mean, if he gets cleared, I guarantee he'll... If he's cleared, I guarantee he's in the Royal Rumble. If he's cleared. If he's not cleared, he's obviously not going to be in the Rumble. Uh, I don't know how far along Tyson Kidd is, or if we'll ever see Tyson Kidd again. I don't know. Uh, It'd be cool if he came back in the Rumble. Um... AJ Styles is rumored to be in the Rumble. He's rumored to make his debut on Sunday, January 24th, in the Royal Rumble. Uh, I could see it happening. So expect expect a possibility of AJ Styles making making his debut in the Royal Rumble. Uh, I don't know if you've seen, but on Twitter, I think it was Twitter, it was Twitter or Instagram, John Cena posted a picture of AJ Styles, and AJ Styles uh, responded to that with a picture of John Cena. So they're, they've been talking. Uh, there's been like other superstars talking about the Bullet Club and AJ Styles and all them coming in <clears throat> whenever they all do come in. Uh, AJ Styles is going to be the first if he comes into the Rumble. So it'd be, it'd be cool to see AJ Styles. I watched him in TNA of, when I used to watch TNA. It was many years ago, back when... Uh, Back when it wasn't so not good. Back when it was a decent show to rival WWE. Um, so yeah, I, I like AJ Styles. I'd love to see him in WWE. It'd be good for him. Uh, maybe bring up some NXT talent like uh, in the Rumble as well. Like Finn Balor, Samoa Joe, uh, Apollo Crews, Baron Corbin. Uh, they don't necessarily have to win it. Uh, maybe maybe even Sami Zayn. Bring Sami Zayn and have him eliminate Kevin Owens if Kevin Owens is, ends up being in the Rumble. Have him eliminate Kevin Owens and just start a, a payback feud for WrestleMania and have Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens at WrestleMania. That'd be pretty cool. But that that's it. I have Triple H winning the Royal Rumble. Dean Ambrose winning the Intercontinental, well, keeping the Intercontinental Champion. Chip Kalisto winning the United States Championship, Becky winning the Divas Championship, The New Day keeping the ta- uh, Tag Team Championship, and Mark Henry and Jack Swagger winning the Qualification Rumble match. Uh, not a Rumble match, just a Fatal 4-Way qualifier. But yeah, that are my, those are my predictions for the 2016 Royal Rumble. Uh, there will be a review on Monday. Uh, raw review on Tuesday, so let's let's see who the champion is come Sunday. But thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Camp Counselor Cody, and I will see you guys next time. Toodles.